and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color food. We're going to go ahead and play this deck that's going to be just like our Soul Typhoon deck that we played, um, I think a week ago. I think it was last Sunday whenever we played it, where we tried out Trail of Crumbs in Standard. And I was honestly really impressed with Trail of Crumbs. I thought it uh, worked out very well. And of course, our just normal food stuff is very good with Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, Oko, Wicked Wolf, Gilded Goose. You know, like that's all just a really good shell. But I really liked this Trail of Crumbs. You know, so each time whenever whenever we sacrifice a food, we get to pay one mana and then look at the top two cards of our library, put a permanent card from among them into our hand. So, of course, we want to play lots of permanents with Trail of Crumbs, and we want to be sacrificing a lot of food. What we're doing here today, though, um, last time I had, like, some some six, some other, like, big top-end cards that were permanents, like Garrick, Liliana... What we're doing here is I'm taking those out and also kind of trimming like Wicked Wolf, Murderous Rider, and fitting in four Mayhem Devils instead. Because as y'all know, Mayhem Devil with Witches Oven, Cauldron Familiar, just food sacrificing in general is very strong with just the, the extra ping damage everywhere. So we got, you know, we have a deck that we're calling Four Color Food, but really this is just Green Black, where we're splashing blue for Oko and splashing red for Mayhem Devil. Everything else in the deck is green or black, including sideboard. Don't even have any blue or red sideboard cards either. Um, so yeah, basically we're just going to be trying to get our, our Witch's Oven out there, um, get our food sacrificing going. I, I really like Murderous Rider in this deck. This is a card that I think still kind of underplayed in these Soul Tide decks, but I like Murderous Rider because it is a permanent. You know, so like we really want to have permanents with Trail of Crumbs. Um, and Murderous Rider is a permanent that we can find that can um, that can kill stuff and everything. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna let's go ahead and try this deck. Uh, do you think this deck has a place for the Golgari Three Drop Hunter? No, I, I don't think that that the Savvy Hunter. I don't think that that's really honestly. I, d I don't think. Um, hmm. huh. Oh, it's two V's. I don't think the Savvy Hunter is really strong enough for standard. I don't know. If, if it is, it's definitely because of the bottom part, the Sack 2 Foods draw card. But just playing against decks with Savvy... I haven't like really played two... Like, I've played like one deck with this card in it, and I, sideboard, I would sideboard it out all the time. And then I've been then playing against decks with this card in it. It's always looked pretty weak compared to some of these other cards but i think you, you, you we really want interaction and that's what all four of these other cards are are good interaction i mean oko is also so basically all of our three and four mana stuff are all things that interact with the opponent and i think that's pretty important all right so hopefully our mana works and everything um yeah so let's get this going all right so four color food we're going to play some ranked. We're going to play like four matches. Uh, Deckmaster should be up. You may need to refresh your stream. But yeah, the other the, the extension to hover over the cards should be working. Okay, so you need to decide whether to replace three Quench with three Mystical Dispute in your Simic Flash deck and paper. The top decks in your local metagame are Is It Drake's Mono Red Aggro, Five Color Golos, and Mono Black Midrange. Um, I'd say probably not. Those aren't like great matchups for Mystical Dispute. So probably not. I mean, you could just play, like, two Quench and just play, like, the third one, replace the third one with the Dispute. I could see that. All right, perfect mana. Just play four colors, you get perfect mana. Um, so, yeah, is Corvold a better fit than Vraska? I, th I think Vraska is probably going to be better. I don't know. Corvold is cool. I wouldn't mind playing like one Corvold, especially with Once Upon a Time that can help find it. But honestly, I didn't really have room for it. But over Vras, I really like how Vraska kills Oko. And Vraska is just 
you know, removal in general. So I could once upon a time right now and see if we find a goose and be able to play a goose here. It's probably worth it. And also, yeah, like, they both can draw a lot of cards. Corvold, you, like, have to sacrifice, so you, you better hope that you, you want to be sacrificing. I don't, basically, I don't love any of my options, but I don't. There's nothing that's there's nothing that's like a terrible option between any four of these, but I don't love any of them. I'm gonna just play the Paradise Druid and have the extra mana there. Yeah, is, is Deckmaster working for anybody else? No? All right, well, let me try. I just closed it then. Let me try restarting it. All right, uh, let's see. All right, it's back up. Is it working now? Okay. So for some reason, just it was up at first, but it just wasn't really working. For some reason, so I did, you know, do the whole close it, restart it. I guess that's, I guess that's lethal. I know the mana to sacrifice this. All right, well, I can't, I can't say that I played that well to die that early with the cards that I had in hand. I mean, I, I really like Trail of Crumbs, but I think, I think this is a matchup I need to take it out.
I think it may be a little slow for this matchup. Hmm. I kind of want to play all the rest of these, though. So I guess I'll just cut a familiar and an oven, just kind of play three of each instead of four of each. I think that'll be still be okay. So they can certainly go over the top of those. Good old stomping ground island, double murderous rider. I mean, I, I wouldn't really mind any of these four. I think... I might go Goose. So my plan is turn one Goose, turn two Goose plus grab Swamp. Okistar, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Question is, do I have any plans for the Artisan event? Um, not really. We may we may play Artisan event later tonight, depending on how long the games go for these. Um, for these four decks, but if they don't go too late. Uh, we may do some artisan uh, as a, like a fifth event tonight. We may do some artisan. Hey, what's up, Paul? Yep, true, true. Yeah, not not planning on taking another off day for a long time, for sure. So I'm taking six. That's fine. So I got the rider. Honestly, I should I should just fable passage here. Honestly, give myself five mana so I get to rider plus uh, crack of food.
or make make a new food you know like i shouldn't have played the breeding pool there i should have played an, an untapped land Well, it worked out, though. So if I, if I kill the Venerable Knight first, then they... Then they get to put a counter on the Knight of the Ebon Legion, so I have to kill the Knight of the Ebon Legion first. Well, they have to be able to equip. They also have to spend one mana to make Ginger Brute unblock. Ginger Brute's not always unblockable, so they have to have three to equip and one to make it unblockable. <laughs> you don't realize how good Mayhem Devil is until you try playing a Lotus Field against one. Oh, uh, yeah. Just sack your two lands and take all that damage. So now I have, you know, I have, the, I have instant speed one damage here with Gilded Goose sacking a food. So if they spend three mana on Ember Cleave to equip either creature, we just kill it in response. So it just wastes three mana and. I don't know if they can really afford to just waste three mana like that. All right, well, that forces my hand. And there we go. Good job, Murderous Rider, and your lifelink. All right, game number three. Ugh. Maybe I don't. Maybe I guess, is Golgari Queen too slow? Like, should I play? Should I play the other cat in the other oven instead of the queens? Do I just get rid of my pocket queens? Maybe I do that on the draw. All right, we'll do that. We're folding pocket queens. Folding. Straight up folding. This hand's not that great. But you have once upon a time that fixes everything. Well, we have, you know, basic waste over here. We're just playing wastes in our deck. Which is random. And so we need our evolving wild. So we have just waste and evolving wilds. Like, we're playing some really bad at lands here.
Good hand for our opponent. Trips. One drops. Playing Mardu ones. That's not easy to do. Play turn one, red one drop. Turn two, a white one drop and a black one drop. But the tournament grounds helped him out. So I'm going to let them make their decision with the Fervent Champion first. I, I obviously really hope they don't have Ember Cleave again. That is certainly the scariest card right now. This attack is like basically saying they have Ember Cleave though. So of course my best block is on Venerable Knight. Then Oko dies. I'm going to block the Knight of the Ebon Legion so that Oko goes to one and doesn't die. So hostile to the truth. So it's a game you're interested in. So obviously I can turn Ember Cleave into a 3-3. Three, three. I do that, what else am I doing? I mean, I think I probably need to do that, but now. Let's broaden your existence. There's a lot of other stuff to deal with now. I can go, hey, my little Toriel. Thank you so much there, Paul. And welcome to the channel. It's a lot of damage. All right, that's our 13th sub of the day. And Rochian with that resub as well. Thanks, Rochian. <laughs> I love your content, man, but I must admit I love your pets even more. Good work, man. Thank you very much for everything. Oh, well, thank you so much, Rochian. I really appreciate that. Um, Hawkeye is laying back there on all the blankets. I have a bunch of blankets back there now. He's you can see him, he's like right there. Right there. 
He's just napping. Napping after his lunch today. Expectations are exhausting. This is a pretty awesome hand for my opponent. Sometimes you gotta give it to him, sometimes they just have an awesome hand. Perfect mana and all these one drops and Ember Cleave. Paragon, it is great, great hand. I got seven lands over here. Hmm. When I can't cast Murderous Rider, I die. I mean, Swift End, that is. So I just have to play this. This is the problem with like making the Ember Cleave a, a three threes. It gave put a lot of power out there. I need to draw Legion's End. Ugh, not Legion's End. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If we draw Legion's End for these Ebon Legions, we'd have a shot. Whoa. All right, defeated. But we leveled up. Get another pack. Ooh. Rare wild card. No, it's still a legendary elk. So if they if they played a new ember cleave, they would have to sacrifice the first ember cleave. Yeah. <laughs> No, so they can't have, they can't play a new Ember Cleave and let their Ember Cleave um, wield an Ember Cleave. Oh, yeah, Masker Girl. Yeah, that's true. I guess Masker Girl would have been a better uh, top deck than, than, the, uh, than the Legion's End, that's for sure. Good call there. All right, well, good looking hand. The Fabled Passages mean that we're going to be a little slow so we're, we're it's basically going to be like we are um on the draw instead of on the play we'll see we may get a shock land here hmm i was thinking more of like a, a black shock land for cauldron familiar This is the story of the great Elker Cleave. Alright. Alright, yeah. I'm working on... Yeah, I need to get puppy emotes. You're right, you're right. Good call. Um...
Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. This does what it's okay. <laughs> I was like, why did it use the <laughs> use the swamp? That's all good. That's well, gonna make life difficult. Choking out lies. Your new look is enchanting. This is why we need Golgari Queen. Gotta be able to kill Oko. So I can't really You're blind to your folly. I can't really kill Oko here. But I, I can kill the goose. Now getting rid of this Oko is going to be tough. So Wicked Wolf kill Mayhem Devil. If they want to save their Wicked Wolf, I get to do an extra damage to Oko. Ooh, I feel so That's good. Welcome to the feast. Not a good turn for me. I could have left one Cauldron Familiar back to block. To chump block and then, you know, bring it back with sacrificing the food to the Trail of Crumbs. <clears throat> but I think with them, with like life totals, I think I'd rather just get the two damage on them. Not really attacking. I guess we're just gonna try to kill the goose. If only we had a witch's oven and not an elk, this game would be a lot easier. Yeah, I didn't play the the passage to to thin the deck. I played the Shockland instead because 
if we draw another Mayhem Devil, it's kind of nice to have Fable Passage for Mayhem Devil. But, you know, if I, if I would have known that, that my top two cards were going to be basic land, basic land, then I definitely would have wanted to shuffle. And now, now we're at the point where I don't really get, I basically just get like the land that's off the bottom of my library by shuffling, but I guess all we do, we are kind of doing is drawing lands over here, so maybe I should shuffle. Nah. We need to draw an Oko. Oko make food. Ah, they're a, they're a band tech now. What a strange and magnificent world. Behold, All right, I'll take Murderous Rider. Oh my gosh. Blech. All right, so I mean that's so that's 10 lands here. That's 10 lands. Plus 11 if you know, if we count like the one that we know about on the bottom. And then 12, 13 with the two that we already took out of the deck. So that's 13 of our lands. We're already over halfway through our lands through 20 cards. Because we're counting the one down at the bottom. GG. Yeah, we did. So yeah, mass manipulation is the kind of card that's that's really good against like these Oko decks. Um, let's see. I think I want Veil of Summer, want Masker Girl. I think I don't really want Wicked Wolf. Scamden, uh, resubbin here, nine months. Thank you so much there, Scamden. I appreciate that. I do have to be worried about Krasis also. What am I supposed to take out if I'm playing these cards? I was thinking Nissa, or I was thinking Masker Girl because of Nissa making a bunch of lands and stuff. Is it possible? Yeah, I mean, Noxious Grasp was perfect here. Check out the Paradise Druids, I guess. Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for that resub. So that's number 17 today.
Uh, yeah, for some reason the sub notification's not working today. I don't, I don't know why, but it's not working today. Um, yeah, what would we change with this deck for best of one? I would probably play... Hmm. I'd probably play the fourth Wicked Wolf over the third Murderous Rider. I definitely want to get the fourth of Wicked Wolf in here. Because that's a really good anti aggro card. you to change your ways. Slimfire Jim, thank you so much. I just saw your resub there. Thank you very much. So my next turn, I'm probably turning my Cauldron Familiar into a 3-3 also. I think that's that's my plan for the next turn. Let's just turn that into a 3-3, attack with the two 3-3s three and hold up Swift End and Veil of Summer. I could also take their Paradise Druid. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. I wanted to take a land, but I mean that's that's like that was like my point of like playing that main phase was to try to hit a land drop. Link to skin us to sub number nineteen. Thanks for resubbing there. I feel like with with them at nine and, and with us having Oko. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Your new look is enchanting. Hmm. Uh, we lost to Mardu Knights.
Let's broaden your existence. Okay, so we're on the draw. All right, on the draw, I'm going to take out two Golgari Queens for two Noxious Grasps as, like, faster ways to be able to kill Oko, even though they may not be... We may not have the car card advantage. Alright, so I'll go get Black Source, play Witch's Oven here. The goose. My poor goose, it's cooked. A lot of land going down to the bottom, also. We go ahead and reshuffle those up. I don't have a blue source right now for Oko if we draw Oko. But now I have double black for Ryder. Yeah, this would be a good time to find Cauldron Familiar. No, I, I have not tried Mofongo. I'm not. Ow. All right, we're digging for Cauldron Familiar. Oh, 
opponent has tons of cards over there. Which is not good for me. Hydroid Crisis, still good. Ooh. So I want a Noxious Grasp with this 4-4 four, four Krasis. But then if there's like a Nissa, that's going to be a problem. But you can see if we have like a lot more mana that we can do a lot of stuff from here. Yeah, I've um I haven't I haven't played against too many people playing Alayla, Chulane, like those kind of stuff, but I've I've been playing those cards quite a bit myself. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, thanks, Shaper. There, you can, you can. There's the list is is there on the Stream Decker page. I'm I don't I don't know what you mean tuck neck. I don't I don't know what you mean about my voice sounding different. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. So much stuff over there. All right, there's a lot of cards down at the bottom that I wouldn't mind drawing again.
Need more mana. Like, I wonder if, like, a Wilderness Reclamation would work in this deck. Just, like, one Reclamation. Well, that's really bad, of course. Probably shouldn't have used the oven to sacrifice the... Oh, I definitely should not have just brought it back right then. Oh yeah, I need to bring it back right then. Right, 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 right. Bogle! <laughs> not enough I smart outsmarted you eons ago, Dex. I agree. Do need to get more Nicobolas. That card is awesome. Thank you so much. There, Bogle. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I can Oko. Oko and Ryder and Familiar. I gotta get up above three though, which I guess I can. Let's broaden your existence. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to scry with castle, not make a food. That doesn't help. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. I invite you to change your ways. Well, Oko makes Spark Double better right now. Ah, uh, they scryed with the Prison Realm. True.
Okay, do this a couple of times. Certainly want to crack that before I play Mayhem Devil. Okay. So, play this thing. It's so what I can do. I need to do three damage right now to kill this Krasis. I kind of want to do five damage. Can I? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess we just want to do five damage right now. We've got to get rid of this Oko. Think up a fun fate for you. <laughs> You're blind to your folly. Think up a fun fate. So basically, should I? <sighs> should I turn a food into a three three to help block, or should I get rid of my Oko and trade my food for the Krasis? You know, just steal their Krasis. Expectations are exhausting. I'm gonna just take this crisis. Maybe that's not worth it. Maybe I'm I'm Loyalty is giving up too much fragile. potential Oko value. And with me being able to kill the crisis the next turn with Cauldron Familiar, maybe this is just too much. I could see that decision costing me this. Certainly me playing it safe, but with me having Trail of Crumb, like I have such an engine going here that I, I just, I'm playing it very safe there. Yeah, the food, the food would tar would cause it to fizzle. Like targeting, yeah, target Wicked Wolf, it'll, it'll grow to be bigger than a 3-3, so it'll fizzle. So it doesn't work.
That's that's their fourth Oko. Yeah, they still got tons and tons of life with, yeah, 10, but then, you know, potentially 19. The game's not ending soon. <laughs> yeah, you love control. You like the two hour long control mirrors. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. They're at 12 minutes, I'm at 11 minutes. Alright. Let's start off by sacrificing. So hostile to the truth. Oh yeah, that's true. They they don't have as much life because they can whenever they sack food they take a damage. Um, I'm just gonna play this rider here and. Breeding pool. <laughs> this is the most helpful Hawkeye's ever been during one of your matches. Yeah, Hawkeye's being very helpful here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, he's like sitting up. <laughs> he's sitting up looking at me like, why are you saying my name and pointing at me? That bounces Hydroid Krasis. I don't really want them to bounce Hydroid Krasis. Sorry, they may just bounce Prison Realm now. Try to all right, so that gets rid of the devil. So they're at eight right now. If I just go all upstairs. Hey, Ultimate. So I have like this crisis as a 3-3. Three, three. Oh. 
Why is Arena being so slow? All right, GG. Hey, Stevie. All right, one and one. I'm gonna go ahead and reset Arena here, even though it's just two matches, but it's hour 15 for two matches. And we saw it get pretty uh, pretty slow there towards the end of that second match. Oh, thanks, y'all. Yeah, we got all four Okos in the graveyard. Um, when did this four-color food deck become a thing? Uh, a couple of weeks. It's It's been kind of going around getting like some 5-0s on, on Magic Online and stuff for... Um, for about, about 10... 10 days to two weeks. I'm like the only one that plays. Um, I'm like the only one that plays the uh, Trail of Crumbs. I really like the Trail of Crumbs, though. Hey, Velshada, doing very good. Doing very good. All right, so we're one and one. We're we're playing four matches with the deck. Oh, really? Okay. I hadn't seen anybody else play Trail of Crumbs yet. Cause yeah, I put together in the Soul Tie version last week, and basically just took that deck and I just added Mayhem Devil to it here for today. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, so we'll lead with the overgrown tomb. Yeah, trailer crumbs very strong in the mirror. Same with Mayhem Devil. Mayhem Devil is like the best in the mirror. It's like, if you're trying to do like the sacrifice stuff, and your opponent has a, a mayhem devil, like you're, you're and you don't, you're just kind of dead. So my opponent did mold a five, but they're doing they're doing fine though with Paradise Druid. It's just they only got three cards left. But I have kind of a bunch of nothing, so we'll see how it goes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Oh, the day is yours. Can we draw spells and not lands? Ugh. Three for three with these shock lands. Yeah, these these card sleeves were ones that were given out at TwitchCon this this year. So you, if you went to TwitchCon, you got a code for these sleeves. Sacrifices 
must be made. Yep, thanks to QQ. Yep, QQ went to TwitchCon and, and got the code for me. Is there a trick to target the same card as the opponent in targeting regarding spells targeting a single card in the graveyard? Not that I know of. That's a pretty... It's kind of difficult to, to do. I don't know of any specific trick. This Golgari Queen can just kill my Mayhem Devil... I guess that's just how it's going to be. I've considered sacking the food here. You know, paying just like maybe just like playing Trail of Crumbs and paying two and sacking the food and just killing the Paradise Druid. I don't know if that's really like the best thing to do. I guess the day's your lucky day. Uh, this Nissa. The land shall conquer you. Turns out that card still pretty good. Okay. So a wolf can. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna wolf sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been really liking Trailer Crumbs. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Well, that's not great. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. I invite you to change your ways. Huh. Behold, nature's true power. Unbelievable. Well, we put two lands down at the bottom. You know, we just put lands down at the bottom, but I mean, three lands down at the bottom, but we got to shuffle. Must be nice to draw spells. Where? Yeah, 
It's the new lands deck that we're playing over here. Okay. Well, I guess last time I brought in all the Veil of Summers, but I don't really need to against my current opponent, I don't think. So I think we can bring in more Noxious Grasps. Basically, Masker Girl is good whenever they have when they have Nissa. Maybe it's not that great though. Maybe I just want this extra Golgari Queen. More ways to kill Oko and do more things. All right, so I'm actually I'm either gonna get rid of the third queen or get rid of the second druid. We're getting rid of one of those two. I'm not sure exactly which one I want to get rid of. All right, we'll just get rid of a queen. <laughs> yeah, land tribal without Field of the Dead it is quite hard. Okay. Can you say hi? Oh, no lands now. Alright, lots of lands again. Okay, everybody's saying hi. Well, he's purring pretty hard. So do I grasp the goose? Or do we wait and try to grasp Oko? Going for the grass boko plan. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin one bite. And ah, well, if I knew I was going to be drawing a Golgari Queen. Blind. Remain blind. I grace you with my lack of presence. Welcome to the feast. He's like, what's up, everybody? Witness the ties that bind us all. Rise, my elemental friend. Ugh. I don't have a good answer for this, Nissa. Now that we used the grasp before. This isn't good. I only pick targets that interest. It was probably going to die anyway. <laughs> Hmm. 
not fair. Yeah, Hawkeye is better at drawing spells than me. We're, we're drawing some more spells now. The Still this. For us. You don't have any removal or creatures. You have no creatures or removal. Nissa's probably going to dominate you. This. And I have no creatures, no removal. So yeah, Nissa taking over. Well, yeah, I wasn't. So yeah, you're saying if I would have had Forest up instead of Blood Crypt up, they would have thought I may have, maybe had Veil of Summer. Oh, I guess you're probably talking about a different turn. Yeah, this this turn I was gonna be tapping out for the Trail of Crumbs. Hmm. Yeah, the turn out I, I played the Oko. Yeah. There's not really a, a two, like I have Noxious Grasp, but that's not a permanent that I can grab. Yeah, opponent just, opponent just had an awesome hand. GG. Like, both games. Even with the Mold of Five game one. Very strong. Nissa. Nissa with no removal on my side. Dominates. This is where I need the Masker Girl that I didn't put in my deck. This is the exact game I need. Masker Girl. So I, I should just be bored again, the Masker Girl. It'd be over like my second Paradise Druid, I guess. Hey, there's Noxious Grass going down to the bottom. Cool, more lands for us. I mean, I, I need a board in Mask Girl. Like, that's why I have it in my sideboard is for Nissa. I don't know why I didn't bring it in. That needs to be in my deck. But just way too many lands both games for us. And 
way too many awesome spells for our opponent both games. This is exactly like last time. So I think I just play Paradise Druid on turn two. I just I have the three once upon a times so and I haven't really I haven't really missed the fourth. I that was like my my sixty first card that I had to cut something else. I got rid of the fourth once upon a time. They haven't been spectacular. Hey, what's up, boo? Yeah, we we back at work today. I'm good at what I do, and what I do is win. You want it, Bonka? Don't be surprised if we meet again. Uh, do not attack. Of course, we're looking for our own Cauldron Familiar. Hey, Yara! Hey, Yara's cool.
down, 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 down. Yeah, I know. Poor, poor opponents playing all these like X ones, small creatures, and I just got mayhem devils and wicked wolves. Um. So. That's a lot of triggers. Um, I can just do two damage, right? I sack Paradise Druid, I sack Wicked Wolf. It's only two damage. No, but then I sack the food to Wicked Wolf. So yeah, I can do more. Figured it out. Down. That was Command the Dread Horde. That our opponent played there. Yeah, so I could have dealt four total damage. So if they would have. Yeah, you know, they didn't need my goose, and then like one other, you know, like they they had to stay at five or higher. I'm gonna take out one one crumb for a wolf. And I'm gonna play Legion's Ends over the Druids. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm pretty good at keeping composure, I feel like. All right, it's a slow hand, but, you know, we got the lead... The... We got all removal, and, like, these Wicked Wolves are definitely good removal spells. So, hopefully this works out. Suddenly our slow hand, not so slow. Yeah, my opponent is yeah, is kind of more aggressive. I don't I don't expect them to have too much removal. That I need to have. Oh, that's a good draw. That I need to have Vela Summer for. Removal isn't really what concerns me about their deck. I'm hoping I get to just go Oven and Familiar next turn and not have to Wicked Wolf. I really don't want to, you know, 
shock again. I don't want to use my last food with the goose there. Hey, Wyge. Hey, it's okay. No, you you are great, Wyge. Take care. I won't forgive this. That's a good turn for us. And that's even better. I don't know who that is, Matthew. I don't know who that is. Revival. Alright, double Midnight Reaper is kind of rough. Kind of rough. Not really that rough. So I guess whenever their creatures die, they're gonna they're gonna be losing a lot of life. So each creature that dies, they lose two life on their side. Like what if I just don't kill the Midnight Reapers and just try to focus on killing them. Killing all the other creatures. They get to draw a lot of cards, but they lose a lot of life. I don't I don't know if this is like an actual feasible plan. We're gonna kinda find out, I suppose. Alright, it's possible this plan isn't very feasible. Hey, Kenpachi. Another Command the Dread Horde. That card's going to be really hard to beat. Alright, I don't even have to sacrifice anything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought your 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 deck looked pretty decent last time, also there, Kampachi. Yeah, it's definitely what their deck's kind of built around is command the Dread Horde, bring a lot of creatures back with the Cruel Celebrants and Ayaras, and everything. Alright, well they got lots of cards.
Well, yeah, that's true. They, they may have, like, a Kaya's Wrath or something. That's a good point. With the Cruel Celebrants getting the death triggers in there. Certainly possible. Hey, Baloney Pony, yes, I su su survived the apocalypse. I am back at the land of the living now. So attacking their life total does make Command the Red Horde worse. I don't know. I was thinking that like killing the priest would make make it pretty easy for them to just get the priest back. Like it's you know it's easy you know like it just it's just too life to get priest back with command the dread horde where I kill the life linker and then it goes down to the bottom of their library. Definitely could end up regretting it. Yeah, you you lose the life with Command the Dread Horde before any triggers go into the stack, like a Yara or anything else. Like you you lose the life as part of the cost, and then whenever all the stuff enters is afterwards, and then they'd all go on the stack. So you can't go down to zero life with Command the Dread Horde and have it um, even out. All right, so they're just bringing back a Yara. Oh, and Cauldron Familiar. Adam. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Angel of Mercy does, and if that would save you from Command the Dread Horde. Arcanist Owl. Cool cosmetic. We'll take it. All right. So there's four color food. Um, yeah, Mayhem Devil is really impressive. Obviously, Cauldron's familiar, which is oven. You get to do some really cool stuff. Um, you know, we got we got Nissid one of our matches, and we lost to a um, Mardu aggro that had just really good hands, especially that game three, pretty perfect there. 
I, I think that we're going to be like, overall, I'd be happy to play against that Mardu aggro over and over again. I think that we're pretty favored in that matchup. The other Sultai ones are just really close, you know, like we, we won a really close one and then we lost a really close one. The one that we lost wasn't actually really that close. But, um, cause yeah, we just kind of flooded out and got Nissa. I don't think, I mean, I think we have enough answers for Nissa. But Hydra Crisis. Hydra Crisis, of course, is problematic at times. But yeah, basically, I really, I really like the Trailer Crumbs. Um, I mean, I like Murderous Rider because, like, the Murderous Riders were definitely good for us being removal spell and removal spell that we could find with Once Upon a Time and Trailer Crumbs. That's why I really like Murderous Rider because it it kills those. Planeswalkers, we saw how difficult, or how, how, um, yeah, like how difficult like Nissa was to deal with and and stuff, and how Nissa just dominated. Like we need to find Murderous Rider, and so having to having it, you know, like if this is just like Noxious Grasp or Angrass Rampage, those are a couple of cards I've seen in these kind of decks. Those are cards you don't find with Once Upon a Time and Trail of Crumbs. That's why I like Murderous Rider, even though it's kind of harder to cast Murderous Rider at times. But then you also get the lifelink part, too. Like, there's nothing wrong with a 2-3 lifelinker also. Maybe I need more Masker Girl for Nissa matchups. That could be something. Um, I could see... Uh, I could see cutting a land for Once Upon a Time and going down to 23 land, honestly. There's a lot of games where we just flood it out. A lot of games where we flooded out. I don't really know what land I'd want to cut though, so I'm not I'm not sure what land to cut. I also kind of want to play one Wilderness Reclamation, just because Trail of Crumbs can be so mana intensive and like spending two mana to sack a food and then a, a third mana to activate Trail of Crumbs. You know, like that's three mana. Like a, that's so much mana. Um, even if you have other things to sacrifice food, still like that extra one a lot. I don't know. That's kind of only when you have like your trailer crumbs going though, and everything. Otherwise, wilderness reclamation could just be like a dead card that you're just looking at, like why do I have this in my deck, kind of thing. Um, but there we go. Uh, four color food. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I could play some claim the firstborns for crisis. Maybe that's like a sideboard card um, that I should be looking into. It is very good against crisis for sure. Um, besides Witch's Oven, though, I, that's basically, like, my only thing. Like, if I have Vraskow, Vraskow would already kill the Krasis anyway. So it's, it's like, for Claim the Firstborn to be turned on, I have to have Witch's Oven. And so I, I don't know if I want to be that, um, you know, that narrow kind of thing. But anyway, this is a, a very strong deck, and I, I think this deck's pretty good against aggro. I think that's that's really where this, this deck shines against. Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven is really tough for aggro to be. It's Mayhem, Devil, same kind of thing. All those ping damage. Wicked Wolf is a good fight spell, and of course, Oko is awesome against aggro. This is just a really strong deck against aggro. So I, I think this would be a pretty good best of one deck. I guess if, if I would change something best of one, I'd probably take out a land for a Once Upon a Time, maybe. <laughs> As we talked about before, I would like a fourth Wicked Wolf against aggro decks also. Because best of one, you see a lot more aggro, so you kind of want to you want to tune your deck for that. But um But yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh if you are uh watching the video later on YouTube, please hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck and trailer crumbs and all that kind of stuff. Um and uh, yeah, but that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.